Hey guys, so I just got a new piece of hardware here. We got ourselves a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. And I'm going to be installing it into my computer. See, I've already got the uh, GTX 1080, this gigabyte model right here, already uh, removed from the computer. And this one right here, this is the EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti the superclocked version the most basic 1080 ti you can get from evga and i will be installing it into my computer here shortly and do like a quick zoom in it's a very nice looking card and then here's my gtx 1080 which i may end up selling at some point, but we shall see, or maybe I'll use it for another build. But those two cards are just there for a comparison. All right, so I'm gonna try in one hand this installation here. I need to drop it into that, that PCIe slot right there. This heavy, heavy beefy card here and try to record it at the same time as well. I gotta get this out of the way. Move that out of the way. Oh, it doesn't want to... Does not want to move, huh? Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. I need to get this cable out of the way. All right, so the cool thing about having a modular power supply is that you can just simply remove the cable, which is always convenient. All right, so take two. Try and drop this in there without messing anything up. Let's see, I'm getting pretty close. I can't see the connector, oh! Guess what guys, I'm a noob, I forgot to take off the rubber feet there. All right, let's see if third time's the charm. Okay, okay, so we got the rubber feet off. Uh, third time's the charm, right? And let me try and drop this in there. Oh no, not drop it. That could fuck shit up pretty bad. Uh, let's see if I'm lined up correctly. Nope, I need to go in. Need to go in there. There we go. Should be lined up correctly, I hope. Let me see. Yeah, I mean, it's in there. There we go. Oh, look at that. GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. Pretty cool, eh? Alright, so the next step is to screw on the plate here to hold the uh, graphics card in place. And screws are right there. And I'll meet, meet up with you guys once this is done. And let focus in on there. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we've got the... Uh, the retention plate on. Now the next step is to install this uh, I think it's the power cord, power connector to my power supply and hook it up to the GTX 1080 Ti itself. Now if you notice this 1080 Ti has an 8 pin and a 6 pin power connector. Well my 1080 here only had the uh, 8 pin connector. So I need to go ahead and install this, this uh, power cord here. Okay, so as it turns out, um, I wasn't, I don't think I was supposed to be using this one on this power supply because this one didn't, couldn't suck it in. So I went ahead and found my power supply box and I found two of these uh, 6 plus 2 connectors and I've hooked them both up to my power supply, so hopefully this will work now. I gotta connect the, uh, gotta connect the eight pin here. Um, I think it should work okay. I really can't see how it wouldn't work. It's upside down. Whoops. Let me kind of smack this puppy in there. There we go. I mean they both fit, and so it should it should work. But we'll find out when I boot this thing up. <laughs> Oh man, I suck at this.
All right, so this is what we got. Uh, this is what we got to work with now. Um, it's all installed in there. Wasn't too bad to install, but I'm a noob at this. Don't you guys know? We got our 1080 Ti in there, and we'll come back when we boot this thing up. All right, so everything's up and running, and it seemed to have been installed correctly. Look at that LED. GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. Looks pretty good in my system. And that's putting a display, so it seems to be working. I'll do some benchmark videos of this graphics card later, but for now, this is just a installation video. I'll buy a very bad installation video on my uh, brand new GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. I'll see you guys later.